eighth inning, Greenberg walloped that apple for a home run. Euclid is around third. The Red Sox will walk off with a win. Now, Euclid, is he a Greek kid? I think he's Jewish. Yes. Yes. We got a Jewish first baseman. I didn't know that. That's supposed to be a ball player if you're Jewish. You ought to be an attorney or a doctor, but not a ball player. Stereotypical image of Jews as being bad at sports is not new, it's old. But in America, partially through baseball, those stereotypes did get overcome. Al Rosen marks a pitch from the left field stand. There's been an almost unbroken string of first string important players in every decade. My dad encountered a huge amount of anti-Semitism, and he made the decision in the middle of a pennant race, when the Tigers hadn't won anything in decades, to not play on Yom Kippur in a world and in a city that had no idea what that even meant. It wasn't easy. You hear a lot of racial epithets coming from the stands. You hear from other players on other teams. And there's a time to do what you have to do to stop it. Koufax did not pitch on Yom Kippur. But this is now the World Series. There's a lot at stake. Amazing. Enormous. This was tremendous drama. The hotel wanted to exclude Phil Weintraub and Harry Danning because they were Jewish. As soon as you struck out, you know, you were not only a bum, but you were a Jewish bum. Every home run he hit was a home run against Hitler. You'll take all of us, or you will take none of us. Sandy Koufax was Pablo Picasso of pitching. I was just throwing as hard as I could, and I was throwing it where I wanted to, which was kind of amazing. Here's the bet. Suddenly I had a hero, and that was Sandy Koufax. The Dodgers are the new world champion. Brian Broad with a home run. Dana Bruce had two homes in one week to win games. Our guy. The intertwining of Jews in America and Jews in baseball is the complete circle for this people that came here under difficult circumstances over the last hundred years or so.